Hensley versus Eason. Step forward. Victoria Hensley is suing her former friend, Brandon Eason, for towing and impound fees for a car she traded to him, but was still registered in her name. Ms. Hensley, I've read your complaint. I've read the answer. So this is what I gather. Back in January of this year, you and the defendant traded cars. Yes. You liked his, he liked yours. I don't want to get into the details of it. You exchanged the titles to the cars and signed the titles over to each other. You have copies of those titles? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to see them. Oh, here's this. And I asked... What me. do you have in front of you? I have nothing, Your Honor. It was in the vehicle when it was stolen. The title. The title to the vehicle should be in the safe. Correct. Well, this says that you traded titles to the vehicle on February the 3rd of 2019. Not in January. February 3rd, 2019. Okay. And on February 10th, don't I can get I, your complaint. Okay, I can explain that. Uh, you can't explain it. Well, you can't explain it. I yeah, the title. To. The title said that under penalties of perjury. I understand that. You um, released your interest in the car on February third, two thousand nineteen. Yes. That's what it says. When we uh, initially, when we first traded, we did kind of like, I don't have the paperwork, but we decided to like, like test driving it. So I don't care. They to trade we it. We made it a. Uh, uh, no. It's not an answer. No, there was not, ma'am. Okay. So when you gave him the car to test drive. It was an uninsured vehicle. I believe yes, so. That's correct. I believe so. Then he had the car for a while and he alleges that the car was stolen. On what date did you file a police report? I don't remember the exact day because I didn't get the police report. She did. Did you? I have a copy of the police report. I'd like to see it. I couldn't actually report the car stolen. I'd like to see it. Because it wasn't in my name. That doesn't make any difference. You had possession of it. They still said I couldn't report it stolen. I had to have okay. her. On what date did you notice the car wasn't there, sir? It was stolen from me right then and there, that same day. On February the 3rd? No. Well, that's the day she transferred the car it wasn't, to you. It wasn't stolen. On there. what date was the car stolen? Ma'am, Your Honor, just, no, no, just, Your Honor, I don't know because I wasn't the one that received the police report. That's and not what I asked the, you. You traded vehicles with We her. traded vehicles. Listen to me, careful. We, we, we traded vehicles February 3rd. You traded vehicles February 3rd. So Correct. the call is what you're saying, that the car was stolen February 3rd? No, it was stolen after that. On what date was the car stolen? Your Honor, I do not know. Try to think. It was at least a month from that date. I know, I know the date. What was the date? Uh, February 10th. It's on the 10th. That's when it was reported stolen. Yes. So how could it be a month later in March? So then... What's wrong with you? It doesn't make sense. Is there something sense. wrong with you? It doesn't make sense to me. It, it doesn't make sense. Because I had the car for a month. It was no longer my car. And if you were notified, they told you it was your car. I wasn't. I, no, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. If he you put were, me. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I understand exactly no, what this says. No, he put me down as the victim. I understand exactly what this says. This is about notice. And if you were notified, which you were, that the Department of Motor Vehicles did not have a change of ownership from you, quiet and listen from you to him, then an intelligent person would have said, I better check on this because if I'm the registered owner, I have certain liabilities. And you didn't. Now, I wouldn't be as hard on you except that you let him drive a car that was uninsured. You let him, Can I? according to you, you let him test drive a car for, according to you, weeks can I? That was uninsured. That's what you just told me. I understand that. But he does this for a living. This is the first time I've ever sold a car. So I asked you him, is say, there anything I me, need? Just a second. You didn't tell me that you sold the car. You said that you traded cars. Well, he traded cars. Well, he does this for a living. And I asked him, when we signed everything over, is there anything I need to do? No. Yeah, you he, need to have insurance on your car. You need to have insurance on your car. On the car that I no longer was my car anymore, the bill you itself. You gave, listen to me, you're, you're not following. But it was not my car to him, insure. It was your car to insure when you gave it to him to test drive, which is what you said to me at the beginning. But it was stop. still insured until the end of January. No, that's not what you told me before. Goodbye, we're done. Eyes are excused, you may step out. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And on the 